So one of you has asked me on my site uh, explaining maths.com to help with finding the inverse function of exponential functions. Yeah. So we all know how to find the inverse function, but what do you do when you get an exponential function? For instance, fx equals 5 to the power x. This is an exponential function because x is in the exponent. Now, you have or you use the same approach with finding the inverse of other functions. Yeah. So rather than fx, you say y equals 5 to the power x. And now to find the inverse, you swap the position of x and y. So it becomes x equals 5 to the power y. Okay. But now the problem arises or the confusion for some students. How can you make y the subject? Yeah? Because that's what you have to do to find the inverse function. How can you do that while well, y is in the exponent? Okay. Now, your teacher will have explained logarithms uh, to you yeah, or logs. And that's um, what you have to do now. Because you need to take the log on both sides now with base, in this case, 5. So I'll take the log base 5 of x equals the log base 5 of 5 to the power y. Okay, the log base 5 of 5 to the power y is y log base 5 of x. So what is the inverse function? So f inverse of x is going to be log base 5 of x. Okay. So um, that is a part or yeah, part of maths you need to um, you need to have been explained already, yeah, which are the logs. Now let's do one more example. Uh, for instance, I have a different function gx. I want to do it in black. Sorry, gx. There we go. Uh, let's say that is two to the power x plus one, and we have to find the inverse function. So it's the same approach. We say y equals 2 to the power x plus 1. It's an exponential function. To find the inverse, I swap the position of x and y. Then I have to make y the subject. So first, I'll take away 1 on both sides, 2 to the power y. And because it's an exponential function, I have to take the log now, base 2, yeah, on both sides. So log base 2, let's put some brackets there, yeah, because we have to take the log of the entire left side of the equation equals log base 2 of 2 to the power y and that is 2 log base 2 x minus 1 so the inverse function of g is log base 2 x minus 1 fantastic hopefully that was useful hopefully you understand it now otherwise check my site explaining maths.com for more uh, resources, all for free, ask me a question if you have any, and uh, like and share this video, guys, if it was useful for you. Yeah, thank you very much, and have a very pleasant day. Bye bye.